there is one thing I'm really most hyped for Street Fighter 6. It is the World Tour mode. And th thanks to that Street Fighter 6 showcase, we finally got a chance to play World Tour. So for this video, I want to give my full thoughts on just World Tour because, man, the first portion of it from the demo really blew me away on what um, the story mode was gonna be like. Once you start from the opening, after the opening place, you're greeted by Luke in his buckler security training program for, I guess that's where he works. He's like in some security training. And of course you see him training, look at him go. And you see like a bit of caption. It's not him talking, but I guess um, it's like a bit of narration for what you're about to um, go down for your path, I guess. Yeah, so once you start the tutorial, you are forced to use the the modern controls. So the modern controls were, the, uh, you had like light, medium, and then heavy, and also your special button. So you would pretty much just have light um, punches and kicks all mixed into one button for each set. And then you also have like the special button, which is w w what you would use for special moves. And then you also had like two DP and then like E1 moves, which would help you with combos. I, it is good for, uh, I will say it's definitely going to be a good system for like a lot of new players, especially for people who are just picking up fighting games. But man, I didn't realize that I couldn't switch it until later on because I'm, I'm, I'm surprised because like when I tried it, I thought I was going to be on that, but I still want to stick to uh, classic controls, funny enough. So, but I, I do like it though. I might switch between them um, when I uh, feel like it's just to give both of them a feel. So after you're done with the training, you'll then meet up with, I guess, the rival of this game, which is Bosch. So you'll do, you'll start one round, you both have like the same amount of health. And he also uses uh, Luke's playstyle, by the way. You can see him use his stance the same way he does. So I'm guessing he'll um, also learn different moves as well from other characters in his own way. But yeah, it's a very simple fight. It doesn't end though when you KO him. He'll like have like one per centimeter. I've seen a bunch of times with everybody. He'll have one per centimeter. It then cuts to a cutscene of um, him punching you and then ending it the same way. I took a screenshot just to have that. And there you go, it's a draw. From an introduction standpoint, they definitely did a good way to like give your avatar a, a rival of its own for you to like fight to be um to overcome. Cause I I'll always love like any rival in like an RPG where you're where you got your uh the Pokemon rivals. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Uh I guess like yeah, the Pokemon rivals and I guess like the, your rivals and Tony Hawk. Cause that's also another thing. The way this felt structured reminded me a lot more of Tony Hawk Underground 1 with you starting up in one town, you are you get to be trained by like a lot of famous, notable characters and, while also having a rival to deal with throughout your journeys because that's what it felt more like and I really like that feel a lot. After a, a, another small tutorial, you'll get a really interesting thing. So you'll actually get to challenge random people in the city. So this was very surprising and I can't believe that they're just having this happen. So that that's probably also one of the craziest things. You just get to fight random people. Cause look at this, this person's just dressed in like a suit. They don't even look like they're ready to fight, but you just get to fight them for, uh, just to build up your experience, just to uh, mess around with like the other players. It's crazy. That's crazy to see that type of feature. I did not expect that at all. Just to like challenge like a bunch of random people off the street. Like look, you can challenge the people who were just spectating. You can even challenge the shopkeeper. I mean, what? I'm just throwing down with the shopkeeper. This is what he gets for giving me a two-star meal. Oh my gosh. And then I buy pizza from him afterwards, which is even funnier after I beat him. Ron, you do get a, like a quick look at the master's building, which is Ken's building, and the construction site where Ken was in the uh, second world tour trailer. So hoping we see Ken soon. But this is also funny as well. So you'll just get challenged by these box people who are just like wearing boxes and they'll jump you. But 
you get like a 2v2. So yeah, there's also 2v2s, which I was also surprised to even see um, happen. So I'm curious if that will just be like a story exclusive thing, or will you be able to do that with avatars? Because 2v2 is a very fun mode, and I'm hoping you can do that in some way with characters and other players. Now, I think before or after this fight, I was finally able to switch my controls, but yeah, after you beat up those box guys, you then run back into Luke, who's in his like alternate outfit, which is a very good outfit as well. I mean, look at it, you get his like military outfit, you get to see that tattoo he had from five, but then you get thrown into a, uh, a quick 2v1 with him, who's level 10, by the way. I didn't even, yeah, I build up to like level three. But yeah, I try to like at least um, get around and like do the whole fight back. Come on, fight back. But now, nah, look, Bosch was barely doing anything. He was just watching me get destroyed. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I was hoping to just do some happy birthday nonsense on him just to win the fight, but that didn't end up happening. I'll, there's also items you can use, but I think they just boost your energy levels but you don't have yet because you don't have like super meter and you that is also oh yeah i forgot i looked at the special moves yeah so i only had access to like his rising uppercut and his uh i forgot what it was but yeah his back forward his back down back move yeah his down back move so you only had like um access to those two moves you didn't get this like sandblast because uh, I think you're, I'm guessing you're gonna learn that later on, but yeah, I'm trying to like beat him and then I lost and boom, Bosch also loses, yeah, so we got destroyed by the uh, poster boy for this game, RIP. But I did see, funny enough, you, there wasn't like anything special that happened when you beat Luke, because I saw on, uh, with other people who beat Luke that nothing else happened after that, you do, they got the same cutscene as well. It, it just gives you the same dialogue. Yeah, so after you uh, fight, do that fight with him, you then become enrolled as one of his students, and because of that, you now get his master action. So once you like keep meeting other characters, you're going to get their master action. So that I'm guessing that's gonna, what's going to happen for each character. So once you find Chun Li, you get the spinning bird kick and the Kikokin. Uh, when you meet Ryu, you get the uh, Tatsumaki and Shoryuken, and etc. for like every other character you meet along the way. You get this quick speech from Luke as you're like talking about traveling the world, being like being able to like fight other people, just like growing together as strong rivals, kind of kind of like how Ryu and Ken did when how they both grew strong and were able to like travel the world and find their own ways of getting stronger. I was liking that speech a lot. I was I didn't expect to like that speech as well. But then sadly you just see Bosch um, denying that type of uh, that type of path. He's looking for strength already. He just it's not that he wants to um, wait for it. He wants to just get it now. So you can already see that he's definitely gonna find this dark path later on in the story. So hopefully it doesn't go bad for him at all. But yeah, that pretty much ends the first chapter. You then talk to Alice one more time before they play a promo video and you just get a look at, uh, you just get a sneak peek of what the next chapter is gonna be and you're gonna get to meet Chun-Li. So yeah, Chun-Li's will be coming before Ryu, which I was not expecting, but that's cool to see though. But yeah, you get this, you get another look at the, uh, here's another look at it again. And yeah, overall, I definitely liked how they're operating the single player campaign for this game. Because it's definitely going to encourage a lot of fun for everyone who's going to be getting into Street Fighter. Especially if this is their first Street Fighter, they're going to have like a lot of other stuff to do outside of just playing fighting. Um, they'll be able to like experience the world, they'll get to like interact with like all the iconic characters. There's just a lot of possibilities you'll be able to do for the first time in this game and I'm very excited of the direction they are going with. If you enjoy the, the Street Fighter content, I am definitely doing so much for when Sticks drops in, on June because there's I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can put out content non-stop. So if you want more Street Fighter action, be sure to subscribe 
and like for more. So I'll see y'all next time.